All right, everyone. So I often get asked what I keep in these uh, Pelican vault cases that are on the top of my Toyota Tacoma. So I thought I'd make a video today to show what I uh, keep inside. All right, so in this first box, I keep uh, primarily cooking supplies. And as you can see, um, I do have dry goods and some propane in here. So I did insulate the lid with some insulation material from Home Depot and it's uh, held in place by uh, spray adhesive. Um, this case is the Pelican uh, Vault, uh, model number V730. And it fits the uh, Toyota Tacoma dope cap pretty well. So in this case, I carry um, a lot of uh, general um, disposable utensils. Couple bottles of propane. Uh, I have been carrying these propane in here for a couple of years now and I haven't had any issues if anyone was wondering, but obviously do so at your own risk. I carry a gas one uh, burner and I'll talk a bit more about this burner um, later in the video. Um, I carry some dry goods, um, some oatmeal, some instant noodles. And these are just, um, you know, I, I wouldn't say they're for emergency use, but if I needed a snack or a quick bite um, on the road, um, I can easily pull over and, and make something really quickly. So that's why I have those in there. Um, I have a, a container full of seasoning. In the seasoning um, case, I have uh, a windshield for the burner. A pair of tongs. These are smaller, so they fit well in there. Um, foldable cutting board, a small knife, bottle opener, and a, a variety of seasoning. Okay. All right, and uh, I also carry one of these um, burners here. Uh, they're similar to the um, uh, jet boil. Um, this one's a little bit different. It takes um, propane instead of butane. Um, I do have a jet boil, but I actually like this one better. Um, this was a generic burner I got on Amazon that was only $16 at the time. Um, unfortunately, it, it's not available anymore, but it looks like this is an identical um, burner to the Camp Chef that sold at REI for about $100. So um, looks like they took this and rebranded it because it's it's um, uh, identical in, in nearly every way down to the manufacturer markings. Uh, but unfortunately, again, not available anymore. Um, they may be sold under a different brand now. I'm not sure, but I, I did check Amazon and they're no longer available. Um, I carry a larger knife. Um, so we do cook a lot of steaks and such. So having a larger knife helps a lot. Um, I have this uh, Stanley uh, cook set. A stainless steel and um, has uh, you know a couple of pots and pans in here uh, the one thing I do like about this set is it's it's larger as you can see but um, one thing that I don't like is that it's uh, stainless steel so it's a little bit harder to clean um, especially when you're on the road um, it doesn't clean as easy as um, a cast iron or, or a non-stick pan but um, you know for the size that it takes up in the case it, it's actually pretty easy to have carry a bunch of uh, headlamps so you know cooking at night or having um, you know just walking around in, in the forest or whatnot having headlights are always convenient to have we carry uh, trash bags so we always carry our all of our trash with us and and dispose of them properly so make sure you do that as well uh, these are um, compostable um, or biodegradable bags that we use to bury um, you know waste when we need to few bottles of water um, you know for the noodles there and a plastic mat that we use um, you know just to you know when we're at the beach or um, just need a place to to lay things out this is nice to have it doesn't take up too much space uh, when it's open up it's actually fairly large so so that's everything I keep inside this case all right and in the second case uh, we have um, a bunch of miscellaneous items that I like to keep with me uh, pretty much full time, whether I'm on a trip or just driving around, um, I keep this stuff with me. So first I have a uh, jump pack. 
Um, this jump starts the vehicle if your battery goes bad. Uh, also doubles as a uh, power pack um, that can be used to charge your devices, your phones, um, you know, iPads, whatnot. Uh, recovery kit, um, recovery straps, um, things like that are in here. A uh, tool bag with, um, you know, miscellaneous tools, um, electrical tape, things like that. We have a, an axe. This is a uh, portable um, pump to uh, inflate your tires and, uh, you know, what whatnot uh, comes in pretty handy um you know especially for um you know items like uh, uh my airbags that are on my truck that i i do need to adjust the uh, pressure pretty often depending on the weight i carry and if i need to inflate it uh, and i don't um, have a regular pump around i use this all right we have a military style folding shovel comes in very handy. Um, I prefer the folding shovels. Um, you know, they just store so much easier and um, they're actually pretty uh, pretty sturdy. Um, this is a an anchor bag or, or four anchor bags in here. You fill these bags up with sand, rocks, dirt, and um, you use that to anchor your canopy, your tent, uh, you know, whatever you need to anchor down. So this, this comes in pretty handy. A lot of times, uh, especially when you're at the beach, and the sand is too soft to use regular anchors. Those bags uh, will do the trick. I like to carry a, uh, a hammock. So uh, especially on those long days of travel, um, you have a couple of trees around, very comfortable. This is a uh, aluminum folding table. So it, it opens up to about four foot, um, you know, more than enough um, uh, room to cook on and to eat on uh, while you're on the go. I have a couple of folding chairs. I used to carry four of these but I found we don't use these too often. Um, we use the back of our tailgate. Uh, the kit sits on the tailgate so we now only carry two of these with me. I have uh, this little piece of um, I guess you can call it a heat shield or just uh, you know a piece of uh, material to uh, for shade, um, but I use it a lot to um, uh, shield the the sun from the truck or from uh, uh, our tent and whatnot. Uh, works really well, so the light mounts off of these and it keeps the heat off of um, you know your your truck or whatever you need it uh, for. And uh, it's also great for shade um, when you need it. Okay, so that's that's everything I have in the second box here, and these are primarily stuff that I like to carry with me full time. Obviously, this isn't everything we need um, on a trip, but stuff that I like to just have um, are kept in these cases. All right. Okay, and here's a look at the uh, burner that we like. It's a Gas One um, model number GS3900P. It's a 15,000 BTU burner um, compared to burners of this design. It's about uh, twice as powerful as what you would typically get. Uh, most burners such as the um, Coleman, they, I believe they run about 8,000 BTU. This is 15,000, so um, about twice as powerful. It runs off of both uh, butane and propane. So uh, typically these uh, burners will run off of these butane containers. Um, but this particular um, burner can also take um, propane. So you can either use these green one pound bottles um, by adapting it to the included uh, propane hose. So you would connect the, this cable to the inlet here and run the burner off of the uh, uh, propane. Um, you can actually adapt this to the larger um, five gallon bottles um, if you need it to cook for a lot of people, which we do often, um, you can do that as well. So that's a quick look at the, the burner that we use. And again, it's, it's a, a gas one, model number GS3900P.